Hey guys, welcome to another video and I am glad we are talking about the Poco X3 Pro and you can see it is unlocked. It unlocked on yesterday's live stream and we have a custom ROM, a custom kernel and a sort of a module which makes it amazing at performance and gaming. This is a complete review and initial impressions. It's a combination of both because I've been using it for 24 hours. Let's see what I have to say and let's see what the future of this device holds. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we are adding new features about to reach a thousand members. So go ahead and join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first. What do we have here? We have the Poco X3 Pro 6 128 variant. The code name is Bhima in India and YU abroad. That's in different countries. If we talk about the settings menu over here, you can see you go to about phone. You do have device name Poco X3 Pro, Snapdragon 860, Adreno 640. The camera layout is mentioned over here. The model number is mentioned over here and the build number. So this basically is ancient ROM, as you can see over here, the latest 5.4 version, Society Android version 11, as you can see over here. And if you talk about the kernel, I'm using Neutrino Kwing however you pronounce that that is basically the android lmk or low memory killer a little technicality se linux status is enforcing now you would tell me those are the basic informations and that's you know basically everybody tells us or we can actually go ahead and see so that is not why we are here we are actually go ahead and you know we'll actually go ahead and talk about my experience with this particular device after being un unlocked and you know how it really feels and uh, yeah you can let me know in the comment section if I should make a video on how to install this amazing setup and a lot of other things. So first things first, what about Ancient OS? A matter of fact, this is the first time Ancient OS is being showcased on smartphone tutorials or phone ops, whatever you want to call it. So let's start with the launcher, of course. To the left, you of course have the Google feed and if you press and hold, you go to Ancient Home Options, a very well laid layout over here for the launcher settings. You have background opacity, show icon labels, at a glance notification gesture double tap gesture so then you have icons notification dots icon pack and add icons to the home screen now apart from this you have miscellaneous options wherein you can allow home screen rotation swipe down to clear all reasons hidden and protected apps that option is there and you do have a bunch of developer options as well so you know the launcher per se does a really really good job no problem at all with the dynamic refresh rate over here you do have the Google Now or Android Assistant shortcut and at the bottom you do have the Android 10 gesture. So everything is working. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you have the notification tiles and you have a shortcut to go to settings and the settings menu looks colorful. So in ancient ROM, we have a very, very well laid out settings menu and it's running, you know, pretty smooth, pretty slick. Even if you look at the icon animations, now you must be saying that, you know, you must be thinking that this guy's running on 120 Hertz all the time. You'll be surprised to see the settings menu. So in settings, you have connections, sounds and vibrations, notifications, bubbles, notification history and stuff. You do have something called as Megalith 11. I don't know what that means, but that is definitely the customization menu. You have display, themes, lock screen, biometrics and security, privacy, apps. So, you know, more or less, this is very, very similar to all the other custom ROMs which come with Android 11, but they have done things differently and it shows. Now, that is the reason I like this ROM. A lot of people were telling me that this ROM looks like the Oxygen OS. I don't think so, but I'll tell you this. So even if you have a look at the sound menu, the sliders, the buttons, the switches, everything looks pretty, pretty neat. And all the options, all the features that you would expect from an Android 11 based custom ROM are there. Now, if you go to notifications, you have the usual Android 11 things, but you have a dedicated menu for bubbles over here. So that is that and if you go to megalith 11 now you would say that initially you know when i started using it 
I thought there were only these four options but when I moved down and mind you in a day's usage I've still not gone through each and every customization option to find out what all can be done for example you have miscellaneous you have gaming mode you have quick settings power menu gestures navigation bar animations buttons battery so you know all those things like interface and everything is there you can customize them and it works like a treat now you know this is not to say that there might not be any bugs with this particular rom some of you might have used it there might be some bugs but that is not the point this is a device which is launched two months back it has 16 roms three kernels and i tried oxygen os yesterday and then i tried this so the video of oxygen is how, how to install and review will come later this per se for ancient os is a preview mind you it is not a complete review the complete review will be done in a different fashion but for now let me tell you in biometrics and security the fingerprint works absolutely fine face unlock works absolutely fine you do have all the google stuff and everything works as expected backup restore and when you talk about the camera we have gcam go which is included which does your job of taking care of basic camera needs i would not say it is as good as the stock camera or it is as good as Gcam and I've not really played around with any other Gcam version or the XML version now apart from this as you see the title here says the best gaming combo or the best gaming setup now let's get to that point and as I said this is not a complete review this is sort of a quick preview into the world of X3 Pro and custom ROMs so what do we have here? I did not do Antutu, but we did do Geekbench. And if we talk about our Geekbench runs, there you go. These many runs were done. So 717, 760, 739. These are different, different numbers. But what we got today on this ROM is 717 and 2385. So the benchmark numbers are pretty pretty decent i would not say it's bad by any means and it's not out of the world if we talk about drm info although this is a custom rom you can see over here it does say wide wine is l1 i'm not logged into prime video right now so we're not really going to try that now, apart from this uh, the google pay and banking applications are working fine for me i have installed Magisk. we do have a franco kernel manager and if you ask me how is the gaming performance well i can tell you i've enabled 90 fps in pubg mobile and most of the time you get above 75 to 80 fps even in senok bootcamp so you know all in all what i'm trying to tell you here if you have this device if you've already unlocked it and this is the video you're watching i would suggest try ancient os with this particular kernel and let me also show you Majisk because there is this particular mod which really really helped in the performance of gameplay poco x3 pro mod it says full power and all that stuff that's that's by which i put that post because i really noticed a lot of difference and uh, you know as i said not a conventional review used it for 24 hours wanted to share my thoughts let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video and the interesting part is after this video the live stream for poco x3 pro will start with the same rom and kernel so you can come there for yourself and check out how is this rom and kernel combo performing while streaming and gaming let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video the install video will be coming soon and a lot of updates are coming for the poco x3 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care see you in the live stream